Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 3894, the Caring for Social Determinants Act of 2021, as amended. Clerk will report the title of the bill. Union calendar number 137, H.R. 3894. A bill to require the Secretary of Health and Human Services to issue and disseminate guidance to states to clarify strategies to address social determinants of health under the Medicaid program and the Children's Health Insurance Program and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Pallone, and the gentleman from Kentucky, Mr. Guthrie, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from New Jersey. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on H.R. 3894. Without objection. And Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Environmental factors can have a tremendous effect on an individual's health. Where a person lives, their level of education, their food security, and many other aspects of a person's life can affect their health and well-being. And these are often called the social determinants of health. Healthcare providers and insurance plans are looking more and more at addressing some of these social determinants in order to improve individual health. State Medicaid programs have been especially engaged on this front. Unfortunately, it can sometimes be difficult for states and insurance plans to understand the various authorities available in Medicaid to address the social determinants of health. Likewise, it can also be difficult to see how other states are using those authorities in creative new ways. H.R. 3894, the Collecting and Analyzing Resources Integral and Necessary for Guidance for Social Determinants Act, will give states a valuable new resource to ensure that they're able to use Medicaid to the fullest extent possible. The bill will ensure that the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services regularly updates its guidance to states on how it can use Medicaid to address the social determinants of health. It will also require CMS to provide examples of how other states are using Medicaid to address the social and environmental factors that can affect people's health. So I want to thank Representatives Blunt Rochester and Burgess for their work on this important bill, and I urge my colleagues to support this bipartisan legislation, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from New Jersey reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 3894, the Caring for Social Determinants Act of 2021, a bill led by Representatives Blunt Rochester and Bill Arrakis. Research shows that social economic conditions such as job loss, lack of transportation, adequate housing, among others, can contribute to poor health outcomes. The Trump administration took a key step at the beginning of this year by releasing guidance to states on how to better utilize Medicaid to support social determinants of health. It provided real-world examples that states are taking to improve outcomes for beneficiaries. For example, Medicaid managed care plans in my home state of Kentucky are leading the way by using care coordinators to connect vulnerable beneficiaries to social support services like food pantries and daycare services. The Caring for Social Determinants Act would require HHS to update this guidance every three years in order to drive future innovation in state Medicaid programs. I am proud of the important steps this bill takes to improve health outcomes for some of our most vulnerable populations. I urge my colleagues to support this bill and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. I have no members who wish to speak. The gentleman from New Jersey reserves. The gentleman from Kentucky. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield as much time as he may consume to my friend from Florida, Mr. Bill Arrakis. The gentleman from Florida is recognized for as much time as he may consume. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the ranking member and the chairman of the committee, and of course, uh, our ranking member of the full committee, Kathy McMorris Rogers. Uh, I'm honored to be here today to speak in support of H.R. 3894 and would like to thank my colleague and friend, Representative Blunt Rochester, for sponsoring this important piece of legislation. This is a really good bill. I also want to thank my esteemed colleagues on the Energy and Commerce Committee for their continued bipartisan efforts to benefit American patients under innovative delivery models through increased data. The Caring for Social Determinants Act, which I proudly co-league, would provide routine guidance and strategies to states to address the social determinants of health under the Medicaid and the Children's Health Insurance Program, the CHIP program. This bill also solidifies states' authority to continue innovative waiver payment models, which 
uh, consequently improves Medicaid beneficiaries' health outcomes. Uh, this is really a great bill, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the, the, the chairman. Uh, and we truly do work in a bipartisan fashion in this committee in, in most cases. But I urge my colleagues to vote in support of this bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you. Mr. Yep. Speaker, I yield back my time. Gentleman from Kentucky Thanks, yields back the balance of his time. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. And Mr. Speaker, I would urge uh, my colleagues to support this legislation, and I yield back. Gentleman from New Jersey yields back. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 3894, as amended? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative. Mr. Speaker. For what